The Genob Games utilizes gaming to build bridges between communities and enhance a peaceful behavior. These games aim to promote unity and combat sectarianism. The games are translated into local languages and distributed across South Sudan as well as to refugees living in neighboring countries. Recently, one of the Genob Games won the Global Gaming Citizen Award. Here to tell us more about it is Luol Mayen. He's a founder and games developer. Genob Games, welcome to Africa 54. Thank welcome so back, much. man. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. So first, how was it like to... Like, to be honest, it, yeah. this has never been my dream. As yeah. someone who lives in a refugee camp, yes. you know, to be able to, like, dream of, like, being nominated for, like, the Global Gaming Citizen. Yeah. Uh, to me, when I was at the Microsoft Theater, it was, like, a different world to me. Like, <laughs> this is, like, oh, my God. Yeah. You know, but, um, you know, if we, if we focus and work hard, it yeah. doesn't matter where you come from. And that's why I want to live as an inspiration to the refugees and people that live in a world that only that can they survive, but they can, they can thrive and make big things happen. Tell us a little bit about this game. What is the name, the specific name of the game? Uh, so I have two games. Yeah. I was like generally recognized for using game for okay. social so impact. For, yeah, yeah. For so developed. this year, uh, the Game Award and, and Facebook Gaming uh, collaborated together. Actually, yes. it's the first uh, first time for for someone to be recognized for this for that category, uh, for this yeah. category. category. so yeah. it was really so great for me uh, for me to be recognized as a global gaming citizen yeah. and it's helped me like to connect with different uh, you know people in the game industry and the most important thing for me is to see like uh, the industry be able to recognize the power of game for them to see like uh, a new way of promoting game for social good, it really gives me so much hope. Do you know quite a bunch of games out there also mm -hmm. just about violence, exactly. exactly about combat? Exactly. And they're very fascinating. Those are the ones that people like to watch. Of course, exactly. they're sports ones and mm -hmm. other games. But mm -hmm. tell us about yours uh, and, and what was in your mind when you're building this particular game, when you're developing? Uh, like, first of all, I was really inspired by the other uh, world that's going on in South Sudan to be able to create a game for social good and yeah. game for helping people on how to respond to conflict, a game that help people on how to build peace. So I have like a game called WIDA. It's, um, it's a board game which is actually available right now. So it's a game like help uh, players to, to become peacemakers and help themselves like how do they own a conflict and how can they respond to conflict uh, through game. Mm -hmm. So like this is like my real focus in in making video games. And so and board you games. have like a board game yeah. here. Say um, you're introducing this to a person, maybe in refugee camp or yeah. somewhere. Mm -hmm. How user friendly is this game? How, how, how would you explain in terms of the ability for people to you, you take a game like this one and, uh, and play and it played. at the refugee camp in the villages or somewhere else? Actually, and that's why I made a board game because yeah. it's a physical game. Yeah. Uh, they don't need to have to, to have a video game, digital game. Yeah. So the way you play the game, it has like, 10 action card, it has a normal card, it also has like uh, characters for you to protect. Yeah. And playing the game is really very simple when you follow up the, uh, uh, the instruction. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, in terms of language, uh, mm -hmm. how, how, how do you, does it have any language uh, challenges or does it, someone yeah, needs to yeah. speak a specific language? Uh, right now it's available in English yeah. and we are working out to translate it in different languages yeah. yeah in South Sudan and across the world as well how are you distributing this uh, how is it going to reach those that really need so it? um working hard right now with UNHCR mm -hmm. to help me in terms of distribution yeah yes very nice and mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, is there, are you working on other games too yes I'm working on a on a health game actually a health game a health so you game. kind of focus on things that help people you know yes. very very commendable <laughs> yeah and I'm happy to you. see you back here thank I remember you so much. speaking Thanks to you last me. time you thank were you. still as skinny as you were last time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good job. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, Luol Mayen, who is the founder and a games developer of the Genome Games.